Yeah, let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger. I don't have the cursor up here where I could zoom out. Or I have to probably move back someplace else, but that's the skinniest I could get. Now to open up an image, go file, file, open. Click on the, make sure your image sequence is numbered. So I may have a couple gaps in here, which you told me I might have, but click on the number one. Make sure number one is clicked, then come down, image sequence, check. Okay, if you don't do that, then you won't get this. Name the number of frames. 30 is okay. I don't know if we can do more than 30. I haven't tested that out. This sequence has gaps. That's okay. Oh, so look here. Voila. Let's see if I can click onto that. Could drag it. So then there might be a couple gaps. I'll have to go back and clean that up. You have to hold it. Bring it back. Press play and it's, it doesn't loop but it plays. That is really good. Really useful to have. So if I try to make it bigger, you can see what happens. Play. This will cover the Ball, so you won't see the ground so this will be in the way so to try and move this out of the way somehow but still getting good progress with this resize it a little bit I just need to see this move so don't need nothing too fancy nothing too expensive just doing quality stuff so and if you're having a tablet that's enough to work with to see some basic animation moving but if you get into more advanced stuff then you might look into more expensive software and programs could cost you a fortune so gotta be careful out there so it works very well the timeline for Photoshop now they got it figured out thanks for watching hopefully some of my tips will help you out helps me out learning Photoshop as well. Uh, I never got to learn Photoshop or digital in art because they never had it at the time. So it was mostly painting back then. But thanks for watching. I'll have to go back and check where the gap is and try to fill in a couple more balls if we can. But if you start playing with the timeline for your animation then it's going to be messed up just because it says here there are gaps and but your animation will be kind of different so don't force animation into your timeline if you don't have to what I mean is you have set up a certain way so you just add frames for frame's sake then you're adding too many frames and that's not good so you just have to make sure you add enough frames to fill your timeline not the program timeline so there are two different timelines so thanks for watching so it's just stuff you gotta learn but school it costs a lot of money to learn so
And plus this is a JPEG, so you can export it in JPEG. So uh, hopefully this video is really helpful. Thanks for watching. September RM.